tips I'm going to do, but I'm trying to show you a wide variety of problems that people have and how to fix them. So none of these pictures are perfect for, for one reason or the other. Now, this particular picture, straight out of the camera, this is straight out of the camera. It's a little overexposed. She's a little too bright. And this is my daughter, um, Georgia. She, her, this eye right here is a little soft. No, it's not a little. It is out of focus. Okay? So what can we do to fix this picture? The first thing we can do is bring down the exposure. Right? Just bring it down. Draw it down. There we go. But now notice as I draw down, if I draw down too much, you know, we start to get some um, undry circles get accentuated. Uh, all different kind of things. So don't bring it down too far like that. Bring down the whites just a little bit. Maybe highlights just a little bit. Let me increase the blacks. When you increase, by decreasing the blacks, that's your, um, let me show you this. So as you pull it this way, you are taking the darkest areas of the image and intensifying them. That's what you're really doing. And that's why as I pulled it way over, you saw this shadow clipping come in because it's one of the darkest areas and we just made it darker. So it went too far, didn't we? Okay. So this is better. So there's things I can do, but the main thing I want to show you with this picture is how to, if you can, it doesn't always work, is how to make an out of focus eye look in focus. And I did a blog tutorial about this. I don't know if it's been published yet or not. And if it's not, then I'll get with Laura and we'll get it published. But um, I'm going to use this eye to make this eye look in focus with the clone tool. So I'm going to open up the clone tool. I'm going to reduce my feather down, uh, not all the way, but like 26%. And I'm going to come over here. And it may take a few times. You know, I didn't get it perfectly on the first time. Come over here. I'm just going to go around, try and get most of the eye. It's okay, you can even go to the white outside a little bit. All right, now Lightroom's gonna guess where you want it to look like it. And Lightroom does not do a good job <laughs> with this sometimes. So I'm gonna click on that little target and drag it over here to this eye. And I've got to re I've just got to situate it as to what I want it to look like. Okay, so I see my feather needs to be bigger. That's what I'm noticing right off. My feather, so I'm going to start over. Bring that feather up. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. That room went for the hair this time. Okay, now what I'm going to do is reduce the opacity. That means how much of it we're going to see. So I don't want to see 100% of that. I only want to see, say, 64% of that. It's still a little soft, but man, it looks better than it did, right? So we'll hit done. And now both eyes look more in focus. And if you think, gosh, it doesn't look realistic or what have you, you could come in with a brush and we could darken it a little bit because that back eye naturally would be a little darker because I'm blocking a little bit of the light. I might come in here and darken this just a little bit. We can turn it off. Turn the clone off. So there's before. And you're seeing we get to see one side of this light. Um, we're under a like a shed area, but we're not seeing this other side. I wish there was a way to erase part of a clone. There's not that yet. I hope Lightroom brings it in. But there's not. But I don't know that other people would notice this little thing. We'll do before and after. All right, look at her eyes. The back one is still a little soft, but it's a lot better than it was, isn't it? It's a lot better than it was. That's with the clone heel tool.